people across the nation bracing for a possible trade war with some of the world's biggest powers. Yeah, in fact, many farmers across our own state are closely watching the news to see what happens. Wish TV State House Bureau Chief David Williams just got back from the farm. He's here now with more. David. Well, I spoke to a farmer who's been out in the fields for decades. He told me if things keep going the way they are, he may have to go into survival mode. Farming is the lifeblood of David Harden and his family. They've done it here in Danville for decades. My father and I raise uh, about 12,000 head of market hogs every year, and then we also raise food grain, corn, and soybeans. The threat of tariffs and the possible impact are on his mind. It's a very unsettled feeling right now. Um, so much of what uh, U.S. and Indiana farmers produce is, is exported around the world. Harden tells me he and his family haven't even broken even yet so far this year, which means they're losing money. He says that's because of tariffs slapped on U.S. pork. He's worried his corn and soybeans could be next. The last probably three years, corn and soybean production has been below break even, and we were actually looking forward to you know, 2018 kind of being a bright spot year where, where we were going to see that trend start to change. Farmers are still searching for that bright spot this year, says the Indiana Farm Bureau President Randy Crone. You could feel that at their agriculture policy conference in Indy today. Our members are getting really concerned because if you look the past 10 days, two weeks, uh, the grain markets have taken a pretty big hit. Indiana's Lieutenant Governor Suzanne Crouch told me today she and the governor travel to countries we trade with to champion Hoosier farmers despite proposed tariffs. So we're not going to wait to see what happens at the federal level. We're going to continue to work and to promote Indiana agriculture. Culture. Back on the farm, Hardin says he's trying to stay optimistic. Hopefully we'll be able to do things to kind of weather this storm. Hardin tells me he's got crop insurance, which protects his family against crop loss because of weather or changes in price. He's not exactly sure if international trade falls under that umbrella. I'm David Williams, Wish TV News 8. All right, David, thank you very much.